Is the U.S. military shooting alien aircraft out of the sky? Michael Snyder reports. The internet is full of speculation that at least some of the unidentified objects, quote unquote, that the U.S. military has been shooting out of the sky may be alien aircraft. We're talking about maybe uh, extraterrestrial alien aircraft. Could this be possible? The head of NORAD says that he is not ruling anything out at this point. What we do know is that the balloon that initially created this wave of hysteria did belong to China. The Chinese claim that it was a civilian air balloon and went off course, while U.S. authorities are telling us that it was likely a spy balloon. But once the Chinese balloon was shot down, NORAD made adjustments, quote-unquote, to their radar systems, and all of a sudden they noticed a number of other unexplained objects floating around. In recent days, three of these unidentified objects have been shot down, and right now we do not know where they are, where they, what they are. The first unidentified object we shot down was floating over Alaska. According to ABC News, the object was cylindrical and silverish gray. ABC News Chief Global Affairs Correspondent Martha Radatz first reported that when fighters were scrambled, the pilots did visuals, got images, and said there was no sign the object had propulsion. It was described as cylindrical and silverish gray and seemed to be floating, a U.S. official said. That caught my attention right away because there have been many reports of cylindrical UFOs over the years. In addition, it's been reported that the object, quote, was actually interfering with the sensors, end quote, of their aircraft that were sent to shoot it down. When they, the U.S. first detected this object over Alaska on Thursday, they sent up F-35 jets to see what was going on, she explained, and these pilots reported back very conflicting accounts. The pilots of the cutting-edge stealth fighter said that this object was actually interfering with the sensors of their aircraft, and they couldn't figure out why, because there was no identifiable kind of surveillance equipment on the object, she said. So that is a huge red flag. In addition, we're being told that the object appeared to be floating without any sort of propulsion. According to Bertrand, the pilots were saying that they did not see anything on the object that appeared able to propel it, that it seems like there was no way that this was actually able to stay in the air. It's possible that the head of the high-speed, high-altitude encounter the pilots may have misinterpreted the type of aircraft which was described as being about the size of a small car. A Pentagon official told ABC News that the object was cylindrical and silverish gray and gave the balloon-like appearance of floating without any sort of propulsion. Either the Russians or the Chinese have some sort of technology that we currently do not understand, or this object came from an unknown source. Needless to say, their opinion is quite chilling. The second unidentified object we shot down was floating over northern Canada, over the Yukon Territories. In this case, the Arctic area. In this case, the unidentified object was also cylindrical in nature, quote-unquote. A U.S. fighter plane shot down a second unidentified high-altitude object on Saturday in Canadian airspace over Yukon. According to NORAD, the object was first, first spotted late Friday night and briefly entered U.S. airspace, at which point two U.S. F-22s were sent to monitor it. It moved into Canadian airspace on Saturday, and President Biden and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau authorized shooting it down. In a Saturday evening news conference, Canadian Defence Minister Anita Anand said it was flying at an altitude of 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. She also described it as potentially similar to the one shot down off the coast of North Carolina, both smaller in size and cylindrical in nature. It's probably likely that the cylindrical object over Alaska and the cylindrical object over northern Canada both originated from the same source. We just need to figure out who sent them. The third unidentified object was shot, shot down, uh, we shot down was floating over the Great Lakes, but this time the object had an octagonal structure. Quote, I've been in contact with DOD regarding operations across the Great Lakes region today, and quote, Representative Jack Bergman, Republican from Michigan, wrote on Twitter at around 3.30 p.m. Washington time. 
He said, the uh, U.S. military has decommissioned another object over Lake Huron. I appreciate the, deci the decisive action by our fighter pilots, he said. Bergman told Fox News on February 12 that the object had an octagonal structure and was shot down by an F-16 jet at 20,000 feet. So that was quite low, 20,000 feet. He cited Pentagon officials for the information. He says, they informed me that an F-16 using an AIM-9 missile had shot down an octagonal structure over Lake Huron. The altitude was about 20,000 feet, Bergman said in a phone interview aired by Fox News. And once again, in this case, it's being reported that the object did not appear to have any visible propulsion system. The object President Biden ordered shot down over Lake Huron on Sunday was described as octagonal in shape with strings hanging off, flying at roughly 20,000 feet. U.S. military officials have stated that the craft have no discernible propulsion systems. Could it be possible that all of these objects will turn out to be Chinese spy balloons? Sure, but right now the head of NORAD is saying that he's not ruling out the possibility that at least some of them could have been a extraterrestrial alien craft. General Glenn Van Herc, who leads NORAD and the U.S. Northern Command, said he would leave the possibility of aliens up to the intelligence community. U.S. fighter jets have shot down three unidentified objects as in as many days as week, but the military has yet to confirm what they are. I'll let the intel community and counterintelligence community figure that out. I have not ruled out anything, Van Herc told reporters Sunday when asked about the possibility of the objects being extraterrestrial. And he added, at this point, we continue to assess every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America with an attempt to identify it. Did he really just say that? At this point, he said, we continue to assess every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America with an attempt to identify it. Yes, he did say that. But when the Biden administration was asked about the possibility of alien aircraft, they gave a much more political corner a correct answer. Speaking from the White House podium, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said she wanted people to hear straight from President Joe Biden's administration that alien involvement with these incidents is not a working theory. She says, I know there have been questions and concerns about this, but there is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns, she said, referring to authorities shooting down from four, shooting down four high altitude objects, including a suspected Chinese spy balloon over North American airspace this month. Of course, the truth is that the Biden administration cannot tell us what these unidentified objects were, and so far our military has not recovered wreckage from any of the three that we, we just shot down. The Pentagon is yet to recover debris from the three UFOs shot down this weekend over Alaska, Canada, and Michigan, and is yet to offer any kind of explanation as to what they are, how they were able to fly, or whether they pose a genuine threat to America. Hopefully the wreckage, is, the wreckage will show that the objects belong to the Russians or the Chinese, because if the objects did not come from there, we may have been shooting at aircraft that belong to some very dark forces. As I discussed in previous articles, Hordes of unidentified aircraft have been violating U.S. airspace for years, and U.S. Senator Marco Rubio just made the exact same point on one of his most recent tweets. Republican Rubio tweeted, at least 72 hours revealed to the public what was happening for years, unidentified aircraft routinely operating over restricted U.S. airspace. This is why I pushed to take this seriously and created a permanent UAP unidentified aerial phenomenon equivalent to UFOs task force two years ago, he said. And he's right. But up until now, the general public had not been fired up about such things. In one of the 43 chapters in my latest book, I take a look at what our leaders have been publicly admitting about these unidentified aircraft. And there's much more going on than most people realize. The Russians and the Chinese are definitely significant threats but there are also other threats that are looming out there that are even more sinister. This is by Michael Snyder. He said it's finally here. Michael's new book entitled End Times Now Available 
in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. About the author, my name is Michael, and my brand new book entitled End Time is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I have published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the most important news. And the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they, I include this about the author section on each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook, and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. And this is by Michael Snyder on Economic Collapse, the end of the American dream. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.